Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hightail. <laughs> What's up guys, it's me and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ultraverses. Now before this video starts, I just want to say hey, my name is Suitap, I've been covering Hytale on off pretty much since the game is announced, so if you're interested in Hytale at all, be sure to subscribe and you know, hit the bell if you're a real one. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, hey Suitap, what the heck is an Ultraverse? Well I got the answer. We haven't really seen these at all, right? The only thing we've seen of Ultraverses at all, we haven't heard about them in blogs, in tweets, in interviews, like full on gameplay. The only thing we have about them at all is this concept art from the media page of the of the website. That's everything we have, that's everything we have to go off. But I do think if they are implemented, that they could be a massive and vitally important feature. Now, this does kind of bring up a bit of a point that these may or may not be cut. I do remember seeing the screenshot an exceptionally long time ago, and the fact that we haven't heard anything about them at all means two things. A, this is a really important feature that Hypixel is trying to keep quiet because they don't want to spoil the entire game, or B, they've been cut because it does seem like quite a very, like a really, really ambitious thing. So take everything I say in this video with a grain of salt because there is a, in my opinion, like, the chance isn't a hundred percent that these are going to be implemented into the final game we get. Now, before we get into what I think Ultraverse is going to be, let's take a look at each individual one. First off, we've got Orbis. Now, I'm sure we all know Orbis by now. It's where we're going to be playing the game mostly. And uh, we already know over to Nexus. Now, this is like corruption. I don't think it's going to be void because none of the other Ultraverses are modeled off Hytale zones. We know we're probably going to be getting a Lava Zone, a Lightning Zone, and a Void Zone, as I said in my other video. Uh, what is Hytale? I don't think this is going to be straight void. I think this is going to be corruption themed. So we're probably going to see mobs that are like overtaken by Varan and like uh, were something, but now they're something else. That's what I think we're going to see. We've actually got like bowling, bin, bowling ball craters for some reason. I think the concept art is having a bit of a giggle. Next up, car pack. We've actually got Got two moons on this one which is really interesting this all verse looks like very poisonous you know we've got the big swirl which might be like a giant whirlwind now torbalin this looks like just pure fractured it just looks broken it looks like almost dead kind of like mars a little bit but like a fractured mars have a go to non drassel we've got like these white things which actually look man-made which is really really interesting and at the bottom we've got like blackness like darkness and like dark force overtaking it from here on out everything i say is going to be speculation what do i think the Ultraverses are. I think they are Hytale solution to Minecraft dungeons with a few key differences. First off, I think Ultraverses are going to be infinite. You can see these on these Ultraverses here, they don't really end. Orbis has a clearly, uh, very clear end, which is the ocean, but these Ultraverses don't end. They're like circular. They're basically planets, but with their own caveats. Those being that I don't think they're going to be required for the story. And I don't think they're going to be that like too deep in storytelling either. I think they're going to kind of be backdrops for the main story and i'll get to my lore speculations in a bit but i think they're going to be kind of like something you go to as like end game content these ultraverses they do not look inviting i think we're going to have resources that are extremely valuable but also the planet is going to be unfriendly it's going to be difficult and yeah i guess we'll have to see how it goes and also these lines in between them you can see that these are actually connected to each other which is really interesting i do think that you're gonna have to take portals to get to each Ultraverse because uh, High Hypixel, they've been showing us a lot, maybe a little bit too much about their portal tech. And I think one of the reasons they may want to get that looking really good is to make Ultraverses seem really appealing to get into. I don't think these are going to have like the same content density as a full zone. I think they're going to have like whole structures and ruins and things scattered about them. And I do think they're going to be infinite, but I also think it's Good, not going to be massively valuable to like explore them as extensively as uh, Orbis because they're probably going to be a lot of the same thing. I think there'll be slight variations, kind of like how zones have variations. It's going to have that like visual variety, but not like straying away from a main theme. It's not going to be massively, massively valuable to explore each one massively in depth it might just be like there if if you think it looks cool you can live there or if you uh really really want the resources to max out your character now law wise let's talk about law how are they gonna tie in i've got a big old law theory coming up right speculation i think all these alter verses have been taken over by varan except num dressel it seems like num dressel is being like held together by like a one dying light which i think that white light is gaia i think nexus carpac and torbalin 
uh, has been taken over by Varen as well. All of these ones, except Numdrassel and Orbis. And Varen needs to take over Orbis in order to get enough power to finish off Gaia and take over all the Ultiverses. And I think it's going to be our job to stop him so Gaia can, uh, you know, regain her power. I also think Ultiverses are important for the story outside of the main story for one reason, and that is that alternate worlds can be a way to justify total creation mods into the main canon, which I think is really, really cool. If you allow, like, modders who make entirely custom experiences to kind of tie in their mods into a way that makes sense, that'll be really, really good, and it'll give them a great backdrop for them to create their own stuff. If you make a total conversion version mod that has like a new zone with new uh, tools, new resources, new mobs, new environments, new dungeons, new enemies, and you make it an ultiverse, then it justifies it as a uh, existing Hightail lore and that will be really, really cool and interesting. I really, really wonder how they can tie into that. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment whether or not you think Ultiverses are actually going to be in the game and tap out. Peace. See ya.